Welcome back friends, Dan here, back with another tutorial, and today we are talking about the number one programming language that developers want to learn in 2020. We'll take a look at that question and many more right after this. Hey friends, Dan Vega here, and if you're new to the channel, I run the website danvega.dev. If you head over there, you can learn a little bit more about me. One thing that you learn right away is that I love to learn and I love to take what I've learned and share that with others. So here you can find a bunch of articles, videos, courses, and even subscribe to my newsletter, Coffee and Code, which comes out every Sunday morning. It really just gives you an update on what I've been up to that week and some really cool things that I've found around the web. So if you're interested, go ahead and sign up for that. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to today's topic. And that is the 2020 Hacker Rank Developer Skills Report. So there's a bunch of really great information in here that I want to share with you, along with the question, what is the number one language that developers want to learn in 2020? So if you don't know, Hacker Rank is um, this really great uh, website that is for both employers and developers. So if you're a developer and you want to just kind of uh, get your skills up to date and uh, practice some interview type questions, uh, this is a great place to do it. You can go in and do different programming languages. They give you problems. And these are really great to like start to think like how how things are you know how a problem might be presented to you in an interview and just really quick if you start going through these my number one tip for these is always don't rush into the question make sure you fully understand the question if you're in an interview ask questions if you don't understand they are not looking for the fastest person to finish the question they are looking for someone to ask the right questions and ultimately solve the problem. So Hacker Rank is a great great place to practice those. And then there's an employer side too that allows employers to find developers. Um, so go ahead and check out Hacker Rank. But what I want to talk about today is this report that they put out called the Hacker Rank Developer Skills Report. So you can go uh, sign up for it. You just got to put in your email and you can get it. Or we can just go through it together here. And actually, I'm going to try and bump this up. So with any of these reports, I like to kind of caveat this with this is a report from HackerRank and the developers that they have. So it's not a general uh, report where it's, it's not this isn't the the full landscape of what every developer out there is doing or thinking, but it's a pretty good indication. Um, at the top there, you can see at HackerRank, we have over 7 million developers in our community. So that's a pretty large base. Uh, that's over 25% of the world's developers who are using HackerRank to level up their coding skills. So I'll encourage you to go through and read all of this if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and just talk about some of the highlights. So the first one we're going to start with is for learning to code, C is overtaking basic. Uh, so for the longest time, BASIC was like the first language that somebody would learn. And as you can see, uh, C is overtaking that. This one is pretty uh, near and dear to my heart, but Gen Z is utilizing coding boot camps to learn new skills. Um, so this is great to see. I work for uh, in a coding boot camp, which I happen to love a lot, uh, Tech Elevator. Go ahead and check us out at techelevator.com. But as you can see here, coding bootcamp among Gen Z is taking over um, big time. So it's nice to see that moving up the ranks there. Um, nearly one in three hiring managers have hired a bootcamp grad. Again, great news for for the boot camp industry as a whole, we definitely see a, a lot of upward um, trends in this area as well. Um, so excited to see that um, as in this report. Um, I'm gonna skip that one. Uh, 2020's most in-demand talent pool is full stack developers. So this is uh, just kind of something that we're all seeing in the industry. Uh, we're just all being asked to know a little bit more 
about both the front end and the back end, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't think you need to be an expert in everything. It's really hard to be. Um, but if you can know a little bit about the front end, a little bit about the back end, uh, that's definitely uh, trending upwards as well. Um, let's keep going. Uh, JavaScript is this year's most widely known language again. And so that's not surprising, right? You know, as full stack development is growing in popularity and the fact that uh, whether you're a back end developer or a front end developer, um, most applications are going to use JavaScript. So uh, not very surprised there, but uh, if you're kind of new to programming, uh, this is a good list to look at because these are widely known languages. Now, don't learn a language just because of that, but if one of your objectives is to get a job programming, uh, these the, the languages on the top of this list are always good to start with. This one really excites me. So Django and Vue.js are rising steadily. So if you follow me at all, you know I'm a huge fan of Vue. And as you can see, in 2018, it was ranked 10, 9 last year, and 8 this year. So it's quickly, um, or I guess steadily, rising up the uh, ranks, which is really good to see. And just a lot of really good uh, frameworks on that list. Uh, Angular, React, Spring I'm a big fan of, Express, .NET Core, Ruby on Rails. So really good to see there. Now here's where I wanted to get to. So Go is the number one language that developers want to learn. It says for the third year running, Go is the number one language developers want to learn. Next. Uh, so as you can see on this list, there's Go way out in front here. You have things like Python, Kotlin, TypeScript, uh, Swift, C Sharp. So a lot of really great languages up there near the top. Uh, if you're not familiar with Go, uh, Go was developed by Google, and it's been increasing in popularity since invention uh, in, in 2009 um, due to the vi visibility of its creators. So Go is a really great language that I actually just started learning myself. So if you head over to golang.org, you can get some more information about Go. There's even a nice little playground where you can just start typing out some code, run it right in the browser, and not have to install anything locally to get started with it. So that's pretty cool. If you are interested in me walking through some beginner tutorials on Go, please go ahead and uh, leave me some feedback below. I'm having a lot of fun learning it and can't wait to share more of that with you. So if you came here just for this question, um, that is the answer. Go is the number one language that developers want to learn in 2020. Um, what else do we have? Developers are learning React, Angular, and Django. Also, if you see up here near the top, one of my favorites, Vue.js, but React, and Angular, and Django, very popular frameworks. Uh, good to see all of these up towards the top. Spring, another one of my favorites, Express. Uh, so so uh, really, uh, a lot of developers out there are um, learning these great frameworks, and it's great to see, like I said, um, a lot of these great ones here near the top. Um, what do you do to take a break from coding? Developers spend downtime listening to music and surfing the web. So I, would ex I thought like gaming would have been up here. Let me just look here. Listening, surfing exercising, which I like, watch videos, play video games. Okay, yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff that I thought I would see up here is there. Um, it's nice to see uh, developers are finding ways to take a break, listening to music. I hate to see surfing the web up there. I know because that's what I do, surf the web, watch more videos, check social media. These are things that I'm doing that I want to do less of. Uh, it's better to get some downtime when you have the downtime. Um, I definitely like exercising, going for a walk with my family. Um, so yeah, so if you get a chance to take a break, take your break. Um, that would be great. Uh, so I think that is it for this report. Not a lot in this report, but some really great things. So if you get a chance, go ahead and head over to uh, hackerrank.com and check out the 
developer skills report, a lot of really good information in there. Again, based on 117,000 developers, so not a small number, um, pretty good large base there of developers and really just what they're up to in 2020, what they want to learn, what frameworks they're using, etc. So the question of the day for today is, what is the number one language or framework that you want to learn in 2020? I'm going to leave that comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, if you found some value in this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel. And as always, friends, happy coding.